Uh, we're talking about Leeds United, though. The pressure is on them. They are in the relegation zone. They need to get something at Brentford this weekend. Just a couple of more questions. As we have former Leeds striker Jermaine Beckford with us, I'm Hugh Wizencroft. Craig Mitch is here as well. Rafinha and Calvin Phillips. They're great players, aren't they? Absolutely superb. Yeah, that's it. Leave it there. Even if you stay up, <laughs> even if mean? Leeds United stay in the Premier League, can yep. you keep those two players? Um, if we stay in the Premier League, Calvin Phillips, yes. Rafinha, no. Why? Um, I think Rafinha is brilliant and I think he's destined for massive, massive things. I think with everything that he's done for the club so far in his time in the Premier League, he's he's looking for the next step in his career and I get that. You know, somebody that's a, a team that's playing European football and he is a brilliant football player. He's a brilliant football player, especially on his day as well. You know, there's there's not many players that are able to drift past players as quickly as him. He's rapidly sharp off the mark. He's got a banger of a left foot as well. So, you know, it would be sad to see him go, but also the money that that brings in will be really welcome to reinvest in the squad and, and reinforce the squad as well. As we've seen over the last year, the last two years even, the squad, when the first 11 are, are injured, is thin, you know, and that, that's something that needs um, needs looking at. And I think the, the, the finances from that Rafina cell would, uh, would cover it. OK, and Calvin Phillips just wants to stay because he's lead through and through, yeah? Leads through and through. What do you think, Craig? Nah, he's got ambitions <laughs> as well. He's got ambitions he, as well. He does, he does. Money he's, talks, obviously, but, you know, knowing him as a lad, he wants to play for Leeds as long as he can If do. Leeds give him the contract, he'll stay, won't he? Um, yeah. Yeah. If he, he's gets money, if he gets paid well, like he's he would get England, paid elsewhere. He's playing international football for England as well, and that's, that's usually the reason why players tend to leave, isn't it? Because they want to play European football and they want to play for the national team. And, you know, to be able to, to say that you played for your hometown club in the Premier League for a number of seasons and international football as well, the only thing that is missing from that CV is European football. But I don't think that will come just yet. I hope it doesn't come you see, just yet. You also don't want to be, respectfully, you also don't want to be just, you know, having to have these relegation battles year of in. Of course. It's, it's, it's taxing, it was tiring, it's draining, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of pressure. Mm. Calvin Phillips is a good footballer. He could definitely play for a team that is comfortably not you know, a mid-table even minimum team. I know there will be clubs that play in Europe that want him, Europa League, maybe yeah, even I, a bit more. I would say Europe, if it's not Europe, if it's not a European a team playing in Europe, there's no point in yeah. really going. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, listen, I think, who knows what happens with Declan Rice, West Ham United, might be a possible destination there in yeah. Europe. I think for Calvin Phillips, it's a World Cup year. Mm. And I think for a guy who's been playing in the championship not too long ago with Leeds United, of yeah. course, you know, that dream of playing at a World Cup for England, what, two and a half, three years later, he probably never thought that was going to happen. And for him, it, again, it might not come again. You look at Jude Bellingham coming through, yeah. you've got Harvey Elliott, you've got, you know, there are no other midfielders, young, hungry midfielders coming through. You don't know when your opportunity will come. He's been injured as well, and I think that will play a part in his thinking it's either now or never, I think, for Calvin Phillips. So I think you say Rafinha's going to go, I think you're going to lose them both. I'm no. not sure it would be the worst thing for Leeds United if they get good money for both of those players to reinvest in the squad going forward. Um, but it would be obviously heartbreaking to see him leave, of course, Calvin yeah. Phillips in particular. I, don't, I, I, don't, I can't see Leeds selling both. I can't see Lee selling both. And I'm, mm. I'm pretty sure Rafinha, more so than, than Calvin, would be the one to leave. It's all depending on if they obviously stay up or go down as well. Mm. Of course.